Welcome to an introduction to accounting, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft. If you want more information about Parkbench Tutors, visit parkbenchtutors.com or you can find us on Facebook. Just look for Parkbench Tutors. In this short podcast, we're going to take a look at costing of inventory using LIFO. LIFO stands for last in and first out. So the cost of inventory is based upon the oldest purchases. So the most recent inventory is sold first. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that if you go in and ask for a television at a store that someone's going to go and search around in the warehouse behind the store and find the most recent television for you. It simply means that this is a method of costing. And to show you how it works, we're going to look at two simple examples. Warmest Toast, first of all, purchase 100 heaters. So they purchase these on the 1st of April. Then they have a hundred of those if they pay eight pounds per heaters, then the LIFO value is eight hundred. Because the cost was eight hundred, that's fairly easy to understand. Now here's where it gets a little difficult. We sell sixty heaters, which means that we have got forty heaters left at a unit price of eight pounds, so we would give them a value of three hundred and twenty pounds, forty times eight. So the cost for the inventory there is £320. Now, we're going to buy another 100 heaters, and they're going to cost us a little bit more. These are going to cost us £10 each. So you might think, OK, we have 140 heaters now, and we bought some at £8 and some at £10. So what's our value? In fact, the LIFO value gives us 1200 the new heaters we know cost a thousand. So what are we saying? The others only are worth two hundred? Where did that twelve hundred come from? Ah, this is where LIFO comes in. There are a hundred and forty heaters available. What LIFO did assumes that the hundred are from the batch that cost eight pounds each, and the remaining forty are from the batch that cost ten pounds each, because we've sold the others that came from £10 each, which of course isn't necessarily true in reality. So we have 100 times 8 giving 800 and 40 times 10 giving 400, so the total cost is 1200. So you can see you've got a difference between the LIFO and FIFO values. Now, Warmest Toast purchased 12 solar cooking units at £150 each. So 12 times 150 is 1800 So we can see that it doesn't matter at this point whether I'm using LIFO or FIFO, the value of my inventory is the same. Now if I sell them, right, I will be selling four of those at a unit price at 150 and at this point it looks still as if they're the same. Four times 150 is 600, sorry that's the number I've got left, four times 150, so it's 600 whether I value them by LIFO or FIFO. Now I buy 12 units and they cost 200 pounds each and you can now see there's a difference between LIFO and FIFO. Why is this? It's because I have 16 units available and LIFO has made the assumption that of my 1600 units the 12 that I purchased have been sold sorry if it been issued so I have 4 that have been left at 200 and the remainder are at 150 which is 2600 whereas FIFO is assuming that we've sold eight at 150 pounds and we've got four left at 150. So there's a difference there of 50 pounds on those four units. So for the 16 units left, LIFO says I have 12 units at 150 and four units at 200 total of 2,600. 
FIFO is based on 12 units at 200 and 4 units at 150 pounds which gives a value of 3000. So is this method with LIFO widely used? Well in fact from international accounting standards going back to 2003 for an entity using international sta accounting standards LIFO is actually prohibited. So until that revision LIFO was actually used as an allowed alternative. Now, the only place at the moment which still allows LIFO for entities is in fact the USA. Any country which says that you must conform to international accounting standards does not allow the use of LIFO. So why would anyone want to use LIFO in the first place? Well the answer is it helps reduce taxes in times of rising prices, in other words at times of inflation, because you get a higher inventory value using the cost of sales figures or a higher inventory value in cost of sales. That's going to give you higher cost of sales. If you have a high cost of sales, it means lower profit. Lower profits mean less tax. So it's a way of reducing the amount of tax paid. Now, the thing is about international accounting standards. The idea there is that the statement of financial position should reflect the most relevant information with regard to time. So obviously LIFO doesn't do that because it disregards time. That ends our short podcast on LIFO, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. We wish you success in your studies. Thank you for watching and listening. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, look us up on Facebook or go to parkbenchtutors.com and you can sign up for a course on Moodle which would give you access to our playlists. Thank you.